Hi, Tim Penny with the Southern Minnesota Initiative Foundation. Uh, this year, given the circumstances, uh, coming to you remotely as opposed to an in-person presentation. Uh, but we do like to keep you informed of the work of our foundation in the region. Uh, the Southern Minnesota Initiative Foundation has been around now for 34 years. Each year we expend roughly $5 million of resources and activities into this 20 county region in South Central, Southeastern Minnesota. Our key three areas of work are early childhood, entrepreneurship, and community vitality. In response to the current health and economic crisis, uh, we ramped up quickly with responses in these various areas. First of all, we offered over 500 grants, uh, totaling over $250,000 to early childhood providers in our region to help them uh, stay in business, help them pay their bills. Uh, we also issued about a million dollars worth of loans to small businesses across the region. Um, more than 30 businesses received that assistance. We also deferred loan payments for a number of our own loan clients to help them through this, tr this challenging time. Uh, we offered $100,000 in matching grants to the 30 small town community funds that we helped to manage. And we also afforded $30,000 of assistance to partners in the region who work with the local food sector to help these local food producers and processors with marketing uh, and um, dealing with their uh, challenges at this time as well. All of these activities in response to the COVID health crisis uh, were made possible by the financial support that we received from organizations, cities, counties, banks, individuals across this region, and we're so appreciative of that support, especially at this time. Uh, in addition to those activities, we have our ongoing work. Uh, some examples of that uh, are an equity investment with Sonics Health uh, in the Rochester area and dealing with the carpal tunnel uh, health challenge. Uh, we've also offered assistance to several communities in our region to help them address child care shortage needs. Among those communities are Austin and Wells and Eagle Lake. And we've offered grant support to the uh, city of St. James for uh, a program to celebrate the diversity uh, of that community. So those are just a few of the examples of work that we've done across the region. So now I'll just share a few examples of our more recent work uh, in your county. In Watmon County, in the last couple of years, we've offered over $200,000 worth of financial support in a variety of ways. We provided a loan deferment to one of our loan clients in your county to help them at this challenging time. We have seven clients in our Prosperity Initiative, which is a training and coaching program for new immigrant and minority entrepreneurs. And we provided a grant to the City of St. James to provide tailored business development service that will be delivered on site in both English and Spanish. Seven child care providers from your county received emergency grant funds. We worked with Watanwan County to help create 35 new child care slots. 20 early childhood professionals attended either our annual early childhood provider conference or our conscious discipline training program. And we provided matching dollars to the St. James Area Community Foundation, uh, especially uh, dollars that were dedicated to response to the current COVID crisis. I want to thank Watanwan County for your financial support. So those are just a few examples of some of the work that we've done in your county in the recent past. Uh, in conclusion, I just want to mention a few things. Uh, at the present time, we have our small town grant program underway. In addition, uh, in late September, we have our annual Entrepreneur Bridge Conference for small business training and a college shark tank competition. Uh, after that, we have our annual Early Childhood Provider Conference, which draws about 500 early childhood providers each year. We also have a feast festival that will be held uh, to celebrate local foods in our region. That's always in early December. And we have Sprout events that uh, celebrate our work and we hope to reschedule those in the very near future. So if you need additional information, please feel free to reach out to me or visit our website. So again, thank you for your support and for this opportunity to present an update on the work of the Southern Minnesota Initiative Foundation.